dismissed writer Dennis. We shall Even different actors have played the part of the TARDIS travelling Time Lord. This week, five years after he disappeared from our screens, it's been confirmed that the BBC are in cahoots with Steven Spielberg to bring him back again. But who will be who? Adrian Mills, a man of some experience in this matter, has been speculating with the experts. Well, according to a recent issue of the Radio Times, a new series of Doctor Who is due to begin shooting very soon indeed. Well, I rang the BBC and they denied any knowledge whatsoever. So, as you're meant to watch Doctor Who from behind a sofa, what I need to know, Adrian, is should I go out and buy a new one? I think everybody has a memory of watching Doctor Who from behind the sofa on a Saturday night. I'm glad you've asked me to investigate, purely by the fact that I actually have some uh, first-hand knowledge when it comes to Doctor Who. I'm at the annual meeting of the Doctor Who Appreciation Society. People from all over the country have come together to watch reruns of old programmes, buy and sell memorabilia, meet stars, and most importantly, ask the question, what's going to happen to the Doctor in the future? Andrew, what inside information do you have about Doctor Who? Well, I'm in telephone and fax contact with somebody in the United States who I understand have been appointed by Amblin as their spokesman for the fan press generally throughout the world. I must confess, having my fingers having had my fingers burnt in the past by various rumours. I'm going to do a little bit of checking to just find out whether this is on the level before oh, I actually... Oh, tell us. Well, the story is that um, they're basically very heavily into pre-production. They've got a script which the BBC has seen, and the BBC is in full co-production with Amblin over this. The BBC are very happy with the script. They're trying to tie it up with a, a US network who are looking at the script and waiting for them to come back as ever it's been held up, and therefore it seems to be just on the verge of going to production. Ah, there you are. We thought you'd got lost. Who are you? I'm called the Doctor. All right, here we are with a situation where the Americans are now <coughs> going to pick up uh, the stories. What do you think they should do? This, it's a very difficult one because, in a way, the appeal of Doctor Who, especially to the Americans, actually, are, in a funny way, the low production values the series <laughs> had compared to series like Star Trek, which yes. were glossy, uh, you know, action-packed. They had lots of money spent on them. Doctor Who never had that. And what I've picked up from doing conventions in America was that they like that idea of the, it's slightly tacky, the sets wobble a little bit, you know, but the stories are interesting. Ah, there you are. They went that way. Do you miss the Doctor? Yes, I missed him for the last 30 years. That's why he's still around. I think he'll go to the States and come back as something different. It'll be a different child of Doctor Who. I, I think that... that um, the, the last 25, 6 years of Doctor Who will be one complete unit. And it'll be like Star Trek The Next Generation. And start the, do you know what I mean? I think it'll be like that. And um, uh, uh, it will be different. You mean better, better special effects? Better special effects, perhaps. But that's... Not, I mean, I think it was rather good that we used to have to uh, borrow bits from uh, Blue Peter, you know, for rockets and things like that. In spite of the fact that everybody says uh, the... Um, uh, sort of parish hall um, special effects and so on are, are great fun in Doctor Who. I think if you tried to do it today, uh, people wouldn't accept it. You've got to have very good special effects always in the service of the story. So if they get the stories right, the character of Doctor Who right, and the, and the general quirkiness of it right, and the Englishness of it right, then I think it'll all uh, be a help that they're able to put a lot more resources into it than the BBC has ever been able to do. All American drama series have this feeling about them, I feel, that they're all involved with the family relationships within a family unit, and I don't think that's what Doctor Who needs or is about. When you look at what has happened to Star Trek The Next Generation, everything is involved about what is happening with somebody's relationship, what is happening with somebody's family, somebody's past coming back to haunt them. Miles, what are you saying? I think you know exactly what I'm saying. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were jealous. Are you worried that it'll become a sort of Dallas or dynasty in space? Well, if it does end up like a soap opera format like that, um, I suppose the ideal situation could be for the past doctors to suddenly have Tom Baker in a shower saying, good God, it was all a dream. <laughs> um, but there's a lot of worry certainly being expressed about the moral 
side of it that uh, certainly series like Star Trek and Deep Space Nine and uh, the other American science fiction series play heavily on, uh, making a, 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 a shaded statement with each episode. What advice would you give to the producers of these programmes? There's all sorts of ways they could go. As I say, I'd like to see them sticking with continuity that's been established over 30 years. Um, I think, as I say, it has to be taken seriously, and it, it's got to avoid the blandness that I think some American programmes are guilty of. There's always been an edge to Doctor Who. It's always been quirky, um, original. It's always had a humour in it. It's encompassed a whole load of different genres. It's never been easy to pigeonhole. It's, it's hard to pin down what Doctor Who actually is. Now, Doctor Who's had a, a truly golden past. What on earth can be achieved by remaking it all? Well, I think it has had a, a, a good past. It started way back in 63. But I think the main point, really, is that the show has evolved over the years mm. um, to a dramatic extent. It started off in black and white in 1963 and ran for 30 years. I think it has a future, and that future is obviously now to be echoed with better production values and a 90s look. I would personally think that there are two things that should be retained from the original, and that is the world-famous signature tune composed by Ron Grainer, and also the police box. And why, why the police box? Well, I think it's an artifact that is so associated with the basic idea of the show. Um, it's almost its trademark, its signature, if you like. And I think it would be sad if that was converted into some fabulous new space vehicle. You say a new Doctor Who, you mean the series, but of course yes. that means a new Doctor. Yeah. Who's going to be Doctor Who? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, ah, guys, no, you obviously where, where's the suspicion about something? Well, we keep hearing. I mean, we've had so many rumours. We've heard Eric Idle. We've heard Alan Rickman. We've, we, we're just seeing on the, on the internet now. They're talking about Stephen Fry. What is the internet? Because I know you get a lot of information from that. That's right. The internet is this marvellous thing where. Doctor Who fans or fans of anything all around the world just talk to each other via their computer. 90% of it is, is complete rubbish and total rumours. Um, but amongst this amount of rubbish, there's this amount that actually might be fact. <laughs> Who would you say would be a very good Doctor Who? Well, I've had to do the uh, the transfer. I would prefer, um, you know, Joanna Lumley, the great fun, you know, wrestling on the floor, her changing into me. I think a good choice would be Donald Sutherland. Terence Stamp. David Warner. I've heard that Alan Rickman is the prime favourite. It would be Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. Derek Idle. Sir Anthony Hopkins. We don't need a replacement. What is the name? Who is that actor? It seems to be Jim Dale at the moment, doesn't it? He seems to be top favourite. It's a possible neighbour. Is there any necessity to bring Doctor Who back, though? Well, I think there definitely is. I mean, it, it's an absolutely brilliant concept, and it's certainly um, the sort of concept that is surely sorely missing from the BBC at the moment. Um, it'll cost the BBC nothing to make, and in fact, they'll bring a great deal of money uh, being involved in this project, so it's certainly worthwhile. Have you ever thought what it's like to be wanderers in the fourth dimension? Have you? To be exiles? Susan and I are cut off from our own planet, without friends or protection. But one day, we shall get back. Yes, one day. So there you have it. Jim Dale is a possible maybe. Doctor Who fans do please note the BBC may have confirmed the plan to bring back Doctor Who, but it's not saying when and it could be some time yet. That's it from us for this month.